Hello, I'm a European astronaut Luca Parmitano. I will be going on the space station for six months on a mission that deals with robotics, science, technology, like robots. Most people think of robots like rovers, uh, spirit, opportunity, curiosity on Mars. But on the space station, we use robotics in many different ways. That's why today we are inviting students from 11 to 18 years old to compete in an exciting new competition about robotics. Space operation have always made use of robots. Since the space shuttle with the Canadarm, we have always used robots to help the humans. And now on the space station, we have Canadarm 2, we have the Japanese uh, arm. In the future, we will have the European robotic arm, and we also use experiments like Dexter, Spheres, and Robonaut. Here I am at the Telerobotics Lab at ESTEC. This is where the future of robotics is being developed right now. Haptic feedback exoskeletons, this is really cutting edge technology. However, one of the most important robots that we will talk about today is ATV. It doesn't look like a typical robot, but because it's a fully automated a cargo vessel, it is actually a robot. It docks automatically and then uh, we uh, unload its cargo. It carries a lot of things, uh, fuel, oxygen, water, and about two tons of dry cargo that the astronauts uh, until now have to unload. It's not heavy because nothing is heavy in, orb in orbit, however, it's very time consuming. Okay. Because it is so time consuming, is I would like to invite schools and clubs of robotics to build a robot. A robot to unload uh, cargo from a mock-up of the ATV-4 and then help the astronauts uh, take the cargo to Columbus. Your team and the schools will build these robots and then uh, it will unload a cargo of a mock-up of the ATV-4 with the funnels here in the high bay of Estec and then uh, they will be able, while building this robot, to talk to experts of the European Space Agency, experts of robotics, of space operations, just like the real industry does for real robots and real space operations. Now, building a robot may sound like a very complicated thing, but don't panic. First of all, there are three different levels of competition, ATV-1, ATV-2 and ATV-3 for different age groups. Also, if technology is not your favorite field, you will be able to get a lot of points by using a very cool video, uh, by impressing the judges with your oral skills, written language and knowledge. The competition starts now. You will find all the information you need on this web address. And then once you contact ESA with your letter on intent, ESA will give you all the necessary information. The competition will be divided into different phases and you will interact with all the ESA experts, including me from the space station, when in July I will announce the finalists from the space station while flying 400 kilometers and at 28,000 kilometers an hour. The finals will be in October, here in Estec, but I will join you live from the space station through a video conference. Let's not forget the prizes. There will be certificates for everybody and special prizes for the finalists. And last but not least, the winners will actually be able to participate in a robotics operation in at the European Space Operation Center. Now that you have the basic information, go to this website and it's time to start building a robot, spread the word, and hopefully I will be talking to you from the space station. Good luck. <laughs>